Hello everyone. I am Dr. Surya Prakash, urologist at Yashoda Hospital, Somajikuda. As a urologist, we treat diseases of kidneys, bladder, prostate. I am now here to talk to you about the prostate and prostate cancer. Why prostate cancer? Because all over the world, the month of November is recognized for spreading the prostate cancer awareness. So this is the time we tell the patients about the prostate cancer, how, how to prevent the prostate cancer and if you get a prostate cancer, what kind of treatment you take. So this month is mainly to spread awareness for prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is one cancer which usually occurs in males above 40 or 50 years. This is a very slow growing cancer but certain types of prostate cancer can be very aggressive, high grade cancers. So usually these cancers are diagnosed uh, by doing certain screening tests called PSA, prostate specific antigen. This is a blood test which helps in diagnosis, in at least suspecting to have, uh, to, to have prostate cancer. Patients who have prostate cancer will have elevated PSA. And moreover, patients who come to us with urinary symptoms like difficulty in passing urine, frequency, urgency, we evaluate them not only for enlarged prostate but also for prostate cancer by doing a digital rectal examination. The patients were prostate examined just with finger. Uh, whenever there is a suspicion of prostate cancer, either by on clinical examination or on elevated PSA test, these patients are subjected to a test called prostate biopsy. In this prostate biopsy, a thin ultrasound probe is introduced into the rectum and a small piece from the prostate is taken for examination. This is the way we diagnose a prostate cancer. Once prostate cancer is confirmed on prostate biopsy, these patients are subject to further tests to know what is the extent of the prostate cancer in the body, whether the, whether the disease is confined to the prostate or it has gone and spread to the other organs of the body by doing a test called MRI or a PET scan. Again, the treatment of the prostate cancer depends on the stage of the cancer. Patients who have got a localized disease, that means the cancer confined to the prostate, can be completely cured by doing a robotic surgery. We have an advanced robot in our hospital, do robotic surgery and the cancer can be completely cured. Patients who have got little advanced disease or disease which has spread outside the prostate or uh, maybe to the nearby organs, they are, they, advise, they are advised to go for radiotherapy. We have got very advanced radiotherapy machines in our hospital and they are advised to go for radiation. The last stage of the patients, they are called metastatic prostate cancer. These are the patients in which the, the cancer is already spread to the organs like bones and other organs. They are advised the treatment called hormonal therapy and chemotherapy. Now the management of prostate cancer has drastically changed in the last, I can say, 10-15 years. Many new things have come and patients who are living for just 2 or 3 years now live for more than 10 or even 15 years with the availability of hormone therapy, chemotherapy and immunotherapy. There are so many genetic tests are available to know what is the biological behavior of the cancer and now we know the what aggressiveness of the cancer and whether the cancer responds to a particular treatment or not. So my message to all of you on this in this month is don't neglect if you have got any urinary symptoms especially if any of your family members have got prostate cancer you have to undergo these tests because there is a hereditary, hereditary risk of this cancer down, going down the families. Family members can get if one of the members has got a prostate cancer. Do visit the local, your local urologist, get your PSA testing done and if there is a suspicion you follow the urologist advice to know about the uh, disease. Prostate cancer is very much curable and we can prevent the disease by taking appropriate measures. Thank you very much.